America, security is your security. Buy United States security bonds. How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? This is Wynn Elliott, introducing another in the series of transcribed feature programs known as Guest Star, brought to you by the United States Security Bonds and this station as a public service. Let it remind you that there's no time like the present to think of your future. Plan for it. Make it secure by investing in United States Security Bonds on a regular basis. Before we introduce our special guests, Here's Harry Sosnick and the Security Bonds Orchestra opening the program with a special Sosnick arrangement of Irving Berlin's The Piccolino. Great country for initials. OWI, FBI, FCC, UMW, AFM, and so on without end. But there's one pair of initials that have a very special significance, and that's B and A. Nope, you're wrong. I'm not referring to the Boston and Albany Railroad. The initials B and A stand for that outstanding radio team, today's special guests, who greet you now direct from Hollywood. And here they are in person... George Burns and Gracie Allen. Well, Gracie, I spent some more money on a bond today. George, how dare you? What's wrong with a government bond? Oh, bond. I thought you said blonde. <laughs> no, no, no. I bought another government security bond. Ten years from now, they'll, they'll pay us $100 for every 75 we put in. Oh, well, that's wonderful. Think of the new hats I can buy then. Yeah. We'll use that money to live on. We, uh, we may not feel like working ten years from now would be a little older. Oh, yeah, that's right. In ten years, I'll be practically 30. <laughs> Gracie, we've been married for 14 years. If you're 20 now, that means you married me when you were six. <laughs> that could only happen if we were hillbillies. What'd you say, Clem? <laughs> I'll let it go. Anyway, it's a great idea for us to invest our money in these security bonds. Because I probably won't be working ten years from now. 
everything will be television, and that's not for me. Not for you? Why, the president of the network says that television would collapse without you. It would collapse? He says that practically single-handed, you're holding up television. <laughs> I wonder how he meant that. And furthermore, he says you've got a singing voice that matches your face. <laughs> Again, that doubt. <laughs> See, George, I've got a great idea. The way for the government to sell security bonds is to put you on television. Oh, boy, would you sell. You did say sell, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> yes. For a minute, I had that doubt again. But, Gracie, there aren't enough television sets. Not enough uh, people would, uh, would see and hear me. Oh, yes, you're right. Oh, wait a minute. I've got it. We'll go from door to door and tell people about security bonds. And then they can see and hear you sing. Yeah. Would be doing people a favor to get them to buy security bonds. It's the safest and most profitable way to invest their money. And your voice can get people to buy them. You're so convincing when you sing. <clears throat> Though April showers may come your way, they bring flowers that bloom in May. Oh, sugar throat. <laughs> <laughs> When you sing April showers, I can actually hear the soft, gentle rain dripping from the eaves. And when it's raining... Oh, listen to that drip. <laughs> Again, that doubt. <laughs> Come on, Gracie, let's go out and sell the people and tell the people about bonds. <laughs> How do you do? We're here to tell you that your best investment is United States security bonds. Yes. Why don't you go right down to the bank and buy some? Well, I'll think it over. Oh, good. And while you're thinking it over, you will be entertained by a song from Sugar Throat Burns, The Voice of Security. <laughs> Though April showers will come your way, they bring flowers that bloom in All right. May. All right, that's and... enough. I'll buy them. <laughs> George, your voice is even more persuasive than I thought. Yeah. Oh, I'll bet with your singing, the government could get England to lend money to us. <laughs> but I didn't get to finish my song. Oh, well, don't you worry. You can sing at the next house. <laughs> do, how do you do? If you want a safe and secure old age, buy United States security bonds. Not me, lady. Well, here's my husband. Perhaps when you see and hear him, you'll be persuaded. The way I'm goes. persuaded. I'm persuaded. <laughs> Already? Sure, if that's how you look when you reach old age, I'll need plenty of bonds. <laughs> that's fine. Oh, well, don't mind what he said. Good things improve with age, and that's you, dear. You're like a little round keg of old wine. Thanks. You're like a fine, ripe old cheese. <laughs> Thanks again. Ah, uh, you're like a rare old Chippendale dresser with curved legs and wide, handsome drawers. <laughs> Let's go to the next house. <laughs> This time I'm going to sing my song all the way through and nothing is going to stop me. What was it you wanted? Oh, well, we're here to tell you that if you put your money in United States security bonds today, in years to come you'll have plenty to send your children to college or to buy that new home you want. And while that's soaking in, I'll entertain you with a song. Though April showers may come your way... They bring flowers. Hey, Gertrude, didn't right I tell you to tie May. that dog outside? <laughs> I did tie him outside. Have Don't no lie to me. Way. I can hear him. <laughs> well, come and look for yourself. It's a man. Hey, what's he doing here? Why is he making that noise? He wants us to buy bonds. Well, for Pete's sake, tell him you'll buy some. All right. 
And hurry up. I can't stand much of this. All right. Do you think I like it? Come on, will you? All right. I'll buy bonds. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, now beat it. George, George, that's enough. You can stop now. We're outside again. Oh, yeah. So we are. I wish someone would listen to that song. It's so beautiful. Oh, well, I'm sure they'll listen at the next house. Well, I'm going to make them listen. The next house, there won't be any talk about bonds until after I sing. As soon as the door opens, I start singing. Good. I'll knock on the door. Hello, my neighbors told me you were coming. I'm buying bonds. Good day. <laughs> Thank you, George Burns and Gracie Allen. We'll have you back in just a moment. But first, here's Harry Sosnick and the Security Bonds Orchestra playing Something to Remember You By. Now, back to Hollywood for a message from George Burns and Gracie Allen. Friends, we just want to come back to the microphone for a minute and say a word or two about security bonds. They're safe and profitable, and an ideal investment. I know I speak for both Gracie and myself when I say... You'll do nothing of the sort. I won't? When it comes to United States security bonds, I'll speak for myself, and you speak for yourself. Okay, Gracie. One, two... Buy United United States States security bonds. bonds... And buy them regularly. Regularly. Goodbye, George and Gracie, and do come again. Ladies and gentlemen, you have heard another in the series of transcribed programs known as Guest Star, brought to you each week at this time by this station and United States Security Bonds. Today's guests were George Burns and Gracie Allen, to whom we say thanks for a grand show. Next week, there'll be another top-notch guest to greet you, so don't miss it. Meanwhile, here's a pleasant so long from Wynn Elliott, with the suggestion that automatic saving is sure saving, and it's safe saving, too, when you invest regularly in United States security bonds. Buy a security bond today. <laughs>